So let us continue working with the uh, script runners, post functions, scripted post functions on cloud. And uh, what I want you to wanted to do today is I was thinking of creating a post function that will uh, add a comment on on a linked issue. So something slightly different, but we are doing two things here: getting the list of linked issues and then adding maybe a simple comment. So there are two things happening in this example, getting the linked issues and adding a comment. Now what I want to do in this video, I don't really want to create a post function, I want to basically split this particular uh, requirement into two parts. First, let us learn how to fetch linked issues using a script runner for Jira on cloud. It is not very difficult, it is uh, just a matter of uh, getting the issue. Now what I'll do, I'll uh, simply reuse one of my script called create issue, not a cre not create issue, I want to get the issue. So I, I have a script here which I will uh, copy and uh, go and take a look at my console. So what I want to do now is I want to use one, uh, one example issue here, which is, uh, let me first uh, give myself a bit more space so I can see the script and you can also see the script clearly. So right now um, I want to work on this particular uh, issue which is AN4 and I'm using this example because it is a bug with uh, some linked issues. So there are two types of links in this particular issue like um, one is duplicate and the other one is blocked and uh, the, the direction is inward and outward both. So when you're working with links uh, you have to also worry about the direction of the links. Now, if I go back to my my script, this script is of course the same script that I have used uh, in a few of my examples. I will modify it. I will I will ensure that I'm using the right issue key. And don't worry about the issue key here because in case you want to do something uh, in the post function, you can you have the binding variable where you can get the issue key for that particular post functions issue. Now, first let us run this and take a look at the script. I hope it still works. It will basically give us the JSON output of the whole issue. And if you look here, if you scroll down, I'll probably use con control F or command F if you are on Mac. So there is one uh, within the JSON response, there is uh, a section where you can find the issue links. So in this particular case, we have four links. Uh, issue, uh, the link number one is uh, this one, where you have uh, the uh, where you have the inward description. I'll probably use my Talent API tester so that I can show you in a slightly better way. So this is the uh, th these are the links. So basically, for each and every link, you have the ID, you have the uh, URL, uh, and uh, the type like the, what type of link this is and uh, the inward issue. So this is of course the direction and the first issue is AN16, AN19 not 16. The second one is uh, again inward, it is uh, NGE2. The third one is outward, demo, demo 10. And there is one more called scrum 10. It is also outward. Now in my script, what I'm doing of course, I'm, uh, I'm displaying the whole body in, in uh, my, I mean, I'm basically returning the whole response body, but I'm also logging some values to my log tab. So this is of course important because you, you need to learn how to fetch the individual values. So we learned earlier how to fetch the ID and uh, issue ID and priority. Let us now fetch the issue links. Now what I'll do, I'll probably fetch the inward and outward links separately. So I'll uh, type here, uh, inward issue links and in the field so we, we have a field here called uh, if i take a look at my talent api so we are looking within the field like this is of course uh, one json i mean within the json we have this section called, called fields and you have all the information within this now we are looking at and we are interested in issue links so we'll type issue links all small nothing in capital so something like this Come on, issue links. And before I do anything further, I'll probably run it just to make sure it works. So no error. And if I go to log, I can see here this uh, this particular 
issue links, all the links displayed, but, I, but we just want to focus on the inward issue links. And of course, once we get it working for the inward issue links, we'll simply reuse it and uh, replace inward with outward. So within issue links, we have to find inward inward issue. Now to, to get this, uh, by the way, this is like a list, like you will get a list of uh, in issue links. And uh, what you can do, in, because we are working with the uh, Groovy, we can do something like uh, like this. We can probably go back to the script and we can do star dot in inward issue and uh, this so so th this is the situation right now we are looking at uh, so we, we can iterate over this uh, list uh, of course it is not really a i mean i mean it, it is a it, it is a collection basically where you have uh, of course uh, one one child element uh, with other fields uh, not, i mean uh, key value pairs basically something like uh, id self type inward issue and we can then iterate over it so within issue links if we go to these specific uh, uh, fields separately so we can then type in inward issue and then uh, within inward issue we have uh, the key so if i do something like uh, this here inward issue I will type in here key. Let us see if it works and I'll run this. So no error in the log, we can uh, fetch, we can see AN19 and NGE2. Let us take a look at this. So we have AN19, which is inward, definitely inward. And we also have uh, uh, NGE2. We have to now do the same thing for uh, outward issue. So we can uh, go to our uh, script and we'll copy it the line and we can simply change it to outward and I'm using this example because I will uh, use the same example uh, and the same script to do f something else with the links like maybe when you send the issue to on hold you maybe you want to also do something with those linked issues that are linked to on hold issue uh, the issue that you are sending to on hold or maybe you are escalating something so when you're working with Jira, you will always be dealing with links. So let us take a look at the output now. And if you look at the log, so we have the inward issue and we have the outward issue link. And uh, now we have these two links, uh, these two type of links. We can now do something else with it. Now what, I, what I'll do in my next uh, video, I will uh, use the same script. I will copy and paste it in my post function. And maybe I'll uh, call a method to add a comment to maybe uh, the issues that are uh, maybe the issues that are probably blocked by this particular issue. So let us say if you're working on some activity and you send the issue to on hold, you want all the blocked issues to be also uh, sent to a on hold status, or at least you can add a comment just to keep, keep things simple. When you're trying to do a transition, Maybe on a linked issue, you have to make sure that the transition is valid and you have to, of course, do a few checks that for that particular issue within that particular project, the transition that you are trying to do is, uh, and it should be valid. And it can be a bit complicated unless you know how your workflows are configured. N nothing complicated, but in the next video, we'll simply add a comment to those linked issues, especially these two issues when we send the issue to on hold. So when I, when I click on, on on hold here, this issue will be sent I mean, the status of this issue, this bug will be on hold, but because it is also blocking uh, some other issues or it is probably blocked by some other issues, that is not really important. The important thing is to do something with those linked issues, like adding a comment or doing maybe updating a field value. And when you're working with Jira, maybe you're working with uh, your Jira service management based projects, maybe you're doing some automation with ITSM based processes, for example, when you receive an incident and that incident requires you to resolve a bug, uh, maybe a quick bug fix. So you can do that, of course, with the help of automation rules. And uh, you also have the option to create a link. Uh, so this can be done within Jira service desk. But 
when you have to do something a bit more customized that that is probably more suited suited to your requirements you can always use your own custom script and that is what i want to show you in the next video so i hope you enjoyed watching uh, today's video and you learned something new today thank you very much